Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about AI and consciousness. So it's kind of a different video. When you look at my channel, you're, you're gonna you're gonna find lots of technical videos. But like, let me just break it down for you why we're talking about AI and consciousness because it feels like it's kind of like a um, philosophical video, right? It is actually like it's, it's kind of mindfuck. Well, let me just break it down for you. So the other day, I was just having a great conversation with a guy from Greece. And we were talking about AI and consciousness, like how how we can integrate AI into our consciousness and stuff. Like sounds crazy. It is crazy actually. So there was one question in this conversation that shocked me to my core, which is, which was, can AI like imitate our conscious? And after a while, can AI replace our conscious and become us? You know what I mean? It's question itself is a fucking mind fuck. But anyway, so I was like, because as a data scientist, I can I know that AI can learn and predict the next data. For example, if you get if you give AI uh, some past sales data and do some algorithms and mathematical equations in the background, so it can learn the patterns in the data. For example, sales are just increasing in Q4, so that's kind of like pattern for the data to learn. And when it comes to predicting, it just based on these data, it can it give some great predictions to you. So it's, we're just naming that as learning for AI. But I think it's not the same. It's not as the same process as we do when it comes to learning, because we're just learning from scratch. We're not we are actually looking at some like historical data in this case like books that are just written in past centuries or past years and stuff but let me just get back to topic so AI can learn everything about us for example if I gave uh, if I give my data to AI to create a new AI model uh, trained on my data that like that model will be able to ask for anything about me for example, if I give my schedule to AI, my personal data, my professional life, I don't know, like, where do I live, what do I like, what I don't like, what I like most and stuff. So whenever I ask something about me, it will return, it will return a great question, great reliable and uh, like great reliable question, uh, response to me whenever I ask something about me. And I also share that publicly so the other folks will be able to ask something about me for example and there are some great examples for that for example like a great influencer on snapchat create an ai model to sexting actually for sexting for her fans so we're just offering good service like that was kind of like ten dollars a month and stuff and she become a millionaire. How surprising is it, is it, right? Anyway, AI can learn anything about us, everything about us. But when it comes to conscious, it's I think it's kind of like that's the point where things get interesting. Cause conscious is something different than like thinking. You know? The first question should be what is conscious? What is consciousness? So we have a conscious, you can make decisions, you can think. It's kind of like fundamental basement, like scaffold of the build building or just like structure of the building that gives you ability to think, that gives you ability to move actually. Like I'm just recording this video and talking to you guys and my conscious in the background is just working, right? It's kind of a philosophical and technical manner. Maybe I'm just chirping us something some like bullshit I don't know just these are my just thoughts so the question is like AI can and I'm assuming that AI can learn our conscious okay. so which means that AI will be able to think like us think like me L let me just for instance I just gave everything about me to an AI model to make it impossible to make it able to learn everything about me for say a model 
So, whenever I ask, whenever like I was just asked something about it, I'm gonna rep I'm gonna ask for the question, a possible question. Also, AI can ask for the same question, and we will be comparing these two results. Like one one is from me, one is from the AI model, and it's kind of like a metric. We can we can also create some metric to validate these results and if the results were over like 90 percent accuracy i think that means ai can imitate the fucking consciousness and it's crazy you know after a while i'm i'm just i'm gonna continue to fit this ai with my model with my data because there are tons of updates on a daily basis in human beings lives right so I'm gonna also keep updating this AI model with my data with my current actual data so I think over time AI easily predict anything about me you know like which is crazy even though like after my dad because I'm a finite finite creature right but they that AI will be infinite fucking amazing creature of me and kind of like allows me to live my life like in a f infinite way I don't know it feels like kind of mindfuck it doesn't go we're not getting anywhere actually you know what I mean because whenever there's a something there's some AI that can that knows everything about me and they can predict like every question I was asked what the fuck what, what where were like where are we going I don't know and also subconsciousness like let's just assume we have a great AI that has the fucking same conscious as mine so what about subconscious cuz I think when it, like let me just give you an example in your subconscious there are tons of foreign foreign words that you can learn uh, during the learning learning a new language, for example, uh, I know lots of German words, but whenever whenever it comes to speaking, I cannot speak them fluently. Why? Because I'm not using German language on a daily basis. You know what I mean? But when there's some e event happens and on my mind. Uh, I'm gonna remind the, these words immediately. For example, uh, an essay. When I and I'm just re reading an essay in German, and I see a word, I just came came across coming across from some words that I know, that I knew in the past, but in other, I'm not just remembering them. But it looks familiar, and in a sentence, it gains a meaning. In the part of the sentence, as a, as, be, as being a part of the sentence, and suddenly I just remember the meaning of this word. So the meaning of this word is actually uh, storing in my subconscious, right? It's kind of like it feels like there's storage behind your conscious. I actually read the book named "The Power of Subconscious Mind." And that book I recommend you guys to re read it because it's fucking awesome. You know, there are some sicknesses and illnesses in this world that you cannot recover from them. For example, optical atrophy, uh, where you f where you lose your nerves in your eye, uh, which make you able to see. But whenever you lose your nerves in the eye, you can see it. But there are tons of examples in this book where people just people are we were just using their subconscious mind and they're just imagining themselves like they're just seeing without any errors in their eyes for example it, they're just seeing as if there's nothing happened with their eyes in their eyes for example a person by the way this person has a optical atrophy which means he can see properly 100% in for example left eye but there's some great techniques and methods they're just applying they're just using and they're just actually they're just uh, involving their subconscious into those actions 
and they're just thinking there's nothing wrong with my eye and I'm just saying I'm the percent like 10 out of 10 vision no problems all clear but like they're just uh, they're just like behaving as if there's nothing wrong with their eyes and over time the time goes by and they recover which is amazing you know it's kind of like conventional methods it kind of feels like conventional method to recover from like these kind of illnesses sicknesses and stuff and these conditions actually and it's crazy but I don't know anything about like AI and subconscious even though like uh, I have some thoughts about AI and conscious and like I said in the beginning of this video these thoughts are just personal thoughts I'm not a fucking philosopher uh, I have a great respect to philosophers by the way but I'm not a fucking philosopher I'm just technical guy who's a data science and student you know I'm just all technical I don't know anything about AI I don't know anything about philosophy but I'm trying to learn I'm, I'm trying to get better but when it comes to my AI and subconscious I can create some relationships between them and I think there's a great strong bond between them actually sentimental bond what the fuck like AI and emotions it's a whole other topic yeah I think AI can imitate our subconscious and we can create our clones with the help of AI AI future is imitating future is future is intimidating not imitating future is intimidating future is scary I don't know yeah that was it for this video it feels like I'm just fucking a philosopher but I'm not yeah, that, that was my. The, these are my thoughts about AI and conscious. Uh, let me just know what you guys thought. Uh, what you guys thinking about? Bye bye. See you in the next video.